Hey guys, Totally Navigator here. I'm bringing you another episode of Pokemon Storm Silver. All right. Last episode, we came down this route and did my Pokemon load. You would see we caught a new Pokemon, Titanium. He's going to be a Magnezone before too or Magneton before too long. And it is possible to evolve him into Magnezone in this game. So yeah, that's basically all we did. Last episode. Mm -hmm. We'll also be catching. We'll be getting at least one new team member in this episode. I haven't decided on how many new team members we're going to get this episode. Because if I don't get two this episode, we're going to be getting one this episode and another one next episode. And I'll leave the last set of Pokemon. That's going to have a team. Which I can't remember what it's going to be. There's light, a cave isn't scary. If you're strong, Pokemon are scary. Where's the wise, my friends? Where's the wise? Oh, he's not bad. Full pick, that isn't good. Uh, I really need to send in, so I'm gonna leave you out and just go for a thunder shot. Nice, that's bad. Okay, dang it. I'm screwed now. Alright, yeah, you're definitely going now. Alright, let's go Pokemon. Let's send in interest. Let's go for bite. Quick claw in action, kids. And that's gone. Dead. Old pigs. Flash! And that's a reference to the... TMU flash, I'm guessing. I don't really know. Alright, now we're gonna be catching our next Pokemon down here, and it's going to be Bagon. And Bagons are extremely hard to find, so I'm actually going to cut out until I find one, so I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, we found our Bagon. The only problem is, what should we name this thing? I mean, I don't even know. What on earth am I gonna do next? Let's just chuck a Pokeball at it. Alright. One, two, three. And I would've caught anyway, without even cheating. Oh well. I'm gonna name this thing. Oh god, I don't know what to name it. I'm a Jade. There's one other dragon Pokemon I need to catch in here, and it is a Gibble. And I need to catch that thing for it. I need to actually catch two Gibbles for an upcoming trade. So I'm going to pause the video, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, we found a Gibble real quick. This is the first out of two I need to catch, so just figured I'd show you this and not do it off screen since it's a pretty important Pokemon. Yeah, it's balls into. Gabite yeah, level 24 and Garchomp level 48 in case you're wanting to use it, which I would recommend doing if you're not going to use a Salamence or Dragonite because it's pretty much one of the best attacking Pokemon in the game based on physical attack and stuff, so yeah. I'm going to be going back off screen for the. to find my second table, so yeah. 
Okay, I'll go ahead. See what, actually, I'll see what this Pokemon is then if it's not anything at all. See you guys in a second. Alright, yep, I'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys, I'm back. I've caught my second Gibble, so now we can continue on with the episode. Oh, and off screen, I went back to the Pokemon Center, healed up on my Pokemon, and picked up Jade, so we can start training up her. So yeah, that's the gist of what I did off screen. I'm gonna slap that EXP share on Jade, wow. Because I wanted to get Titanium up to level 19. So let's go over here, give. To, oh, I named her Quartz, I forgot about that. I was going to go for Jade, but I went for Quartz. I think I might have changed it to Jade. I like Jade, not Quartz. Quartz is too long to say. It sounds weird, so I'm probably going to name it Quartz. Or Jade. God. Can't get my mind right. So yeah. Go to City will change that, but it's Quartz for now. Actually, in my little editing thing I do, I'll probably change it to... I'll probably put Jade on it. Alright. Uh, I don't know. You'll see when it comes out. So let's go over here and get this item. And if I had some repel, that would be really nice, because I think I've pretty much caught everything there's catching here. And we always need to take out these zoo bats, because that's free 50 XP each way for Jade and Titanium. Oh, 46 that time, but oh well. Attack. That's not helpful. Alright, let's go down here. Hopefully this guy won't have too many tough Pokemon. <gasps> Whoa! What a surprise! I didn't expect to see anyone here. Well, what do you expect? No one would be going to Azalea Town. Alright, let's super sonic this thing. And then go for sonic games. And I got lucky it actually hit. Hurt yourself. No? Alright, that's cool, I guess. Let's go for sonic boom. 20 damage. Oh my god, that was a waste. But I think one more sonic boom and I'll be done. Yep. Good day. To you, sir. Level 19. Look at that special attack. 42. And there's that. I don't actually court or Jade's pretty weak right now, so I'm just gonna leave that EXP share on it. Oh look, Pachirisu picked up an item. I'm gonna use Plutonium because it's about to evolve. Into Curlia. Let's take this item real quick. That was just an antidote, oh well. Hopefully we'll be able to get rid of, hopefully our egg will hatch so we can get rid of him so we can get our next Pokemon. Then we'll be good with Pachirisu until, like, for a couple gems at least, so. I may level it up so we can get the rare candies and stuff. Good items, not just the crap that we're getting now. Ooh, Plutonium I forgot already. Oh yeah, extra sensory. Mm, that probably won't do. Oh, I thought... I didn't think it would be doing that much damage. Because I'm pretty sure Geodude is a pretty high defense, just like Nose Pass, so I'm gonna actually use Confusion. Well, I didn't do anything either. Wow. Alright. Pretty easy traveler to be. Zubat Supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. Let's go for a confusion. Charmander, let's keep battling. Charmander looks so happy. 
be in this game. It's actually kind of funny. Page one more time. Maybe I'll have to know. Yeah, I have to. Alright, you're gone. And after we beat the fifth gym, I'm probably just going to level up cores until to level 50. I'll do a training montage of it. So that we can actually fly places, but... I probably won't use it until after we beat the 8th gym. Because it's going to be so over leveled and I need to fly places. It'll just be easier that way. We found a great ball. Pretty sweet, if you ask me. Um, let's go on the bike and make things go quicker. Let's see what nature you have and see if we need to catch a new one. Alright, bold. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh god. That's not good. Off screen, I have to catch a new one. That is awful. Okay, we can't stand for that. We can't have defense for special for attack. No, no, no. I'm gonna catch another Bagon and level it up off screen. For you guys, when you look back at it, when you look, when well, I guess we're gonna see it next episode. For now, let's do the Titanium. I should probably take that yeah, XP share off of crap. Alright, maybe I'll just go stick, stick with it. Yes, 
That's cool, I guess. Let's just take this thing out, I've got a type of advantage, why not? Oh, Sprite Glitch, let's save the game up. I guess it was a good thing I saved. Yes, it was. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Alright. So sorry about this, guys. I guess this is kind of a waste of time and it's really not loading. Alright, here we go. We're back. As you can see, our sprite glitch is fixed. Whew. I was worried about that. I just broke our ROM, so we couldn't finish this walkthrough. And that would have been really a shame. But not just not finish it, we have to restart it, which would suck. But you guys really wouldn't see it, though. Mostly be me watching, redoing everything. And there's a swap loop. Which I, it would actually make more sense for me to use this, but I want to use. Salmon's because of its like amazing attack and Swablu's turn into a dragon type when they evolve into Altaria. So that's why I was talking about that. In case you didn't know. So yeah, let's go battle this hiker and then we'll get our next Pokemon. Oh my god, hiker, no, screw you. I'm not gonna battle you. You're gonna be, you're gonna be like this one. Uh oh. What kind of shenanigans are going on here? Whoa! Oh, whoops. I thought so well. Who are you? You don't know us? We are Team Rocket. What? We broke up a little while ago. Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once. But we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. Oh, gosh. Good! Oh, my golly. By golly, that is one mean person. I hope you get pushed into a well. Jerk. Alright, let's go in here real quick. And good news, guys, this episode's almost over. First, we deposit Quartz. The big on with the bad nature. Second, we make a trade. And third, we get a mudkip. That name is going to be pretty sweet. Alright, so pause it, you. You waste. Oh, frick. Frick, frick, frick. Got to take off. Actually, no. Deposit. Items. Let's see if we have a Pokemon of items. So let's be on. Back. Yes. Let's go 
the box, so I want to make sure. Ooh, Plethorian's Moonstone. Or a Lucky Berry. Alright. Alright, let's take this Rossberry. That's a very diverse set of Pokemon right here. They're all pretty good, too. Hopefully that our egg will hatch soon so we can get rid of that party spot. But who knows? Let's withdraw this gibble. Yeah, I'll draw this one. Alright, uh, back out, back out, back out. Talk to this guy real quick. I collect Pokemon. Do you have a Gibble? Want to trade it for my Beldum? Why yes. Yes I would. Ooh, Patrice has another item. Gibble will be sent to Gerald. Bye bye Gibble. I really like the Generation 4 trading animation. It's pretty cool. I think, you know what? Ta da! Now we have Robotnik! Yay! I got myself a Beldum! Thanks! Uh oh. After the conclusion of the trade, a mysterious sphere appeared in midair. Pin Covenant Orb. Alright, let's see what that does. I don't, I don't even know actually. Do what it does. Hmm. I wonder what that's used for. Hmm. It's probably used to evolve EV or something. Actually, it's not, since it wasn't on that thing. I'll have to check that out. I don't know what, that used to, what that's used for. Oh, he has a moonstone on it, in case he wanted a moonstone for anything, but I don't need one, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Trainer, would you like to take a quiz? Yes, yes I would. Excellent, let's get started. Question 1. Is Sableye the only Pokemon able to have the stall ability? Yep. Correct! Time for question 2. Is the Lax instance to required to breed Munchlax? So I'm going to go with no. Correct! Same so final question. Is it true that Reversal has a maximum power of 150? I think that's no. I don't know. Correct! The final question. Does Carnivore have a higher base death total than Alakazam? Yes! That is very true. Congratulations! You completed the quiz. You can now pick a prize Pokemon. Which would you like? I'm going to go for Mudkip. All day, every day. As you wish. Totally just use a mudkip. Okay. Do you want to give a nickname to mudkip? Yes, I would. Let's name this thing. I'm name it Cobalt. Actually, Basalt. Basalt's more manly than Cobalt, I think. If it was a girl, I'd name it Cobalt. If it was a guy, I'm gonna name it Basalt, as you can see. If you don't know what basalt is, basalt is like rock that um, is on the ocean floor. And it's a water type, so it kind of makes sense, in my opinion. Woohoo! 
Look out for more of the more of us quiz masters. All right. This wraps up this episode of Pokemon Storm Silver. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Comment what I could do better. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and never miss an upload. Alright, this is Toy the Navigator, and I'm going to be signing off as soon as Mudkip gets his experience shared. Alright, see you guys next time. This is Toy the Navigator, and I'm signing off now.